Very well. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the program. It is now past 8 in the a.m., which is leading us to our second discussion of the morning. And this topic has been, I guess, everywhere, yes. especially if you live in the capital city, as Jakarta's <laughs> worsening air pollution may leave some of us, especially if we are exercise enthusiasts, wondering and considering whether we should still exercise outdoors. Mm -hmm. Is it still a good idea? That's right. Are the benefits going to outweigh the cons? Well, we're going to try to answer some of these questions and more with a high-performance coach, Matthias Ibo. Good morning. Good, good morning. Thank you for you? being here with us. Thank you so much. What do you think about the air quality, by the way? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So let me uh, check, check it. I checked for it this us. morning when we came in. It was at one, ah, 119, but red. it is now at a red 152. It was an orange when we first started the program. So again, this is a daily occurrence where it starts to go up and starts yes. to go up even higher in midday. And then later on, do you see the guy wearing the mask there? That little guy looks sad. He's <laughs> frowning under the mask <laughs> because he can't exercise outside. And usually late afternoon starts to drop again. Right. Right. It'll go up late night. So. Like yesterday afternoon or late afternoon, it was I was shocked because it says moderate. It's in yellow. Yes. Like, wow. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we're finally getting better. And nope, it yeah. turns up yeah. again, it goes right? Up and down. So excuse those sniffles and everything. I've been having this for the past month alone. Mm -hmm. So Matthias, in regards to Jakarta's persistent air pollution, yeah. as we just checked right now, is it still safe for one to do outdoor activities? Uh, and I, think, still I, think, I think it's very discussable, right? I mean, yes. uh, with the air quality, because I mean, of course, I mean, I think during COVID, I think it's much better to run outside yes. because yeah, the air quality we is were good. Trained. Yeah, I mean, we'll beside the fighters, of course, but at the moment, uh, the air quality is very bad. So at the end of the day, if you think about it, actually it's not safe, but there is no other thing. So you have to exercise outside, but of course, there are ways uh, to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what are what are some of these methods that that we could you know we could still use to still be able to exercise? Well, like what you showed just now. I mean, in the morning it was uh, quite okay, moderate, and now it's high. Right. So actually, before we run, we actually have to look at the air quality. Okay. okay. Uh, basically, is it safe to go outside and where? Because you know it's just not in one point of Jakarta, but maybe some other place of Jakarta is quite good. I mean, right. so you have to find a place where to do it. And at the end of the day, whenever you train, whenever you see, okay, uh, you have to flexi be flexible as a, as a person. So, for example, at the moment it's good, that means you go out to exercise. Okay, like it's take not, advantage of take the time. Take advantage of the time, especially in the, in the weekend or like, for example, two days a holiday, you know, That's I think right. just go out for it. Okay, yeah. So, um, I'm curious, you, you've trained a lot of uh, uh, runners especially, right? Yeah. Um, are there, did you notice certain trends in certain parts, areas of Jakarta that were better than others and some that were worse perhaps? I think we, we, we always uh, train in uh, Senayan. I think that's right. the best part because of Hutan Kota, you know, with the forest. And yes. oh, okay. It's nice just to run there, you know, as well. And uh, I think the quality of air is good, better than on the street, of course. Okay. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, whenever you train, we, we have to, we, we have a certain program. For example, from Monday to Sunday, mm -hmm. we, we have set up rules, mm -hmm. but then you have to be flexible as well. For example, um, the high, the more intensity you run, I think mm -hmm. that's the worst for your for your lung because there's more particle going inside, You're right? Yeah. So you have to keep adjusting. You know, for example, okay, today is a bad air quality means no interval, no speed. For example, oh. in terms of running, so you go for easy run, for example, okay. and shorter period. Oh, today is good. Okay, you go for the longer run. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the term of running. But of yeah. course, if you have a treadmill and if you have access to gym, it's much better to be indoor than. Uh, Outdoor. Right now, I believe right right that now. we're discussing yeah. about this right it's now. It's counterintuitive because yeah. we were for three years almost in COVID, we were doing the opposite. Like, That's hey, go right. outside and exercise, and now we have to switch that mindset. That's right. And it's just, I felt like, um, you know, other than, of course, and, and we kind of have to switch our mindset, right? Usually it's our time when we wanted to work out. Yeah. Now we just have to look at the air, cool, um, uh, the air um, you know, how the qualified the air is, and then we look at the time. That's the time when we True. have to work out. Is there any additional nutrition that we need to intake, especially with the weather and the climate right I now? I think what, uh, what, what important in terms of nutrition is that we increase our uh, consume, consuming of antioxidants. Okay. Um, that means that, for example, I mean, we're exercising. The more exercise, the higher, the more intensity you get, the more oxygen you breathe in. Correct. So it means more oxygen into the body. In, in, um, when we talk about the air quality, it means um, the more particle in your, in your lung and so on, right? The yeah. oxygen. So if you take the antioxidant, I mean, you can get in a fruit and vegetables, which is like for green, yellow, okay. uh, orange. You consume that more to clear out those uh, oxygen that left over in your body, including the the, part, the bad particles. I think that you have to increase uh, consumption of that, especially. You talk to your own body. Get your blueberries. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, the berries are perfect. <laughs> right. So I've got a I've got a question in regard. Yeah. This one's going to be a bit tricky. So. 
throughout COVID, yeah. we were uh, basically trained to wear masks. <laughs> and masks became an issue. Like, should we wear masks while we exercise? Are we getting yeah. enough oxygen? That's right. So we would wear, so our, our solution, when we, we kind of had to find a happy middle ground, which is exercise outdoor so that we have open space and fresh air. Then you can use, maybe you don't have to use a heavy duty mask, but if you still more, feel more comfortable, especially you're running in a group, let's say, then you might want to keep like just a thin mask on, but at least it'll give you some protection. Right. Now all that has got to be flipped again because now we're not wearing a mask for a virus, yes. but for the two point, PM 2.5 particles. Correct. Now those masks, if you wear like one of the thin cloth masks, it's not gonna keep that Can't out, breathe. right? No. So you actually have to wear a proper mask. Now will that be invasive for us or, or it, will it be um, dangerous in fact, if yeah. we're not getting, because those masks are quite, uh, they're much more protective, but they're thicker as well. So it's harder for us to breathe. Well, What's actually, your thought on well, that? Well, actually with the, with the mask, I mean, after with, with the COVID, of course, there will be, there is an endless discussion on whether to wear a mask or not. Right. But then there's a lot of studies as well on wearing a mask and not to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at the moment, I think uh, for ourselves, it's much better to wear a mask. It's not so much because of the exercise, but much more, but for the air quality, we have to protect ourselves as well. Okay. I mean, if you can just, uh, how do you call, menyaring, uh, you know, uh, yes. to filter, filter the air yeah. into our lung, it's much better. I think we have to think about ourselves because uh, exercise is not only for today, but we're gonna wanna use it for a long, long period of time, you know, so. Yeah. Um, at the end, uh, if you want to exercise with a mask, it should not be a problem. Okay. Um, I think, again, we have to check the air quality and where we are. I mean, for example, if you run at Senayan or in the forest mm -hmm. where it's quiet, we can just take our mask off. But then when we come down to the street, for example, um, there's more direct more pollution. Yes, and then we just traffic. put the mask on. So okay. just on and off, on and off. You know? Situational then, yeah? Situational, yes, correct. Okay. You should use the mask that you have, the one with the filter, right? So but that's have, very heavy. I have one that's uh, rechargeable and it's got HEPA filters in it. And okay. what it does is it blows, and it's not good yeah. for COVID because when you exhale, it lets, in case if I had COVID, right. it will all go out with it. A special mask, you know. But it's yeah. actually good. I got it during COVID. I didn't use it. But now it's very, it, it helps me a lot because whenever I'm outside, I can still get air. I'm not, I don't feel like I have a reduction of oxygen intake, yeah. but at least I'm, I can see the particles on the filter. It's yeah. like brown. By can the you air. imagine doing hit with that though? Yeah. <laughs> like a little, yeah. Your heart yeah. just go it's up a bit very big. quick. Yeah. yeah, it's like half kg right there. That's no, right. the thing is, I also want to know there's a lot of marathons. Correct. That is now, right? There's yep. been a lot of marathons and events that is happening right now, including right here in the capital city. So you've seen that the, these you know, marathons takes about three to four hours long. True. And sometimes the air quality, like you said, in some areas, some are mo more moderate and yeah. some is very, very bad you quality. On the, on the exactly. So what about those runners? Well, the, the good thing is about marathon in Indonesia that it starts early, you know, at uh, 4.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So at least you get the good two, three hours with the good air quality right. uh, to run. I mean, if you finish after eight, nine, then it's probably, is you already too tired or um, it's very hot as well. So actually, actually at least at least half of it, um, you're still okay with the, with the air quality. Mm -hmm. But of course, at the end, you really have to take a lot of precautions, uh, make sure that you get your antioxidants, you get your fruits, you get the vitamins, um, make sure that you're not tired. I think that's very important, you know, I think uh, to make sure that uh, you have a good recovery because whenever you're tired, your immune system goes down, yeah. means that you get sick very easy. So okay. that's something that you have to watch, especially as a, as a marathoner and a running and uh, the training period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, seeing as these particles can be invasive to our lungs and yeah. can affect our breathing. We've heard of the breathing conditions people have been reported yeah. in hospitals. So what are some of the, uh, I guess, the bad side effects that can happen if we don't uh, don't take these precautions, for example, checking the air index. Well, how can it affect our body in our, when I think, we exercise? I think, I think it uh, depends on um, each individual, how fit they are, you know, um, because of the fitter you are, I mean, the less vulnerable you become. But then at the end, I mean, you, you, it's not very easy, you know, with the, with the easy coughing, you know, yeah. and then you have, a, um, you know, your, your sore throat, but it just not a day or two, but lasting three, four weeks, yes. yeah. you know, and then start not feeling well, you know, I think um, some people start to get fever, you know, it, it's the symptom is not like straight up, boom, you get sick, but it's gradually. It's not like up. a cold where you get over it in a week. Exactly. Right? Right. It's extensive. Yeah. Okay, I so. Think, I think for a, for a person who's doing the sport, they have to watch all those little things. Don't, don't just ignore it, you know, because okay. I mean, Listen then the you're too late means that. Yeah. The, the medication will be also too much, you know. Yeah, that's well. true. I work out three to four times a week just like you, and I still got it. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, I've been doing all the exact correct thing, but it still got to me. And by the way, uh, those particles can still escape into your home if yes. you don't have an air purifier or that's if right. your windows open sometimes. That's so right. Again, be aware of all of this, but basically, in summary, we should still be exercising. Absolutely. We'll just do it Absolutely. with more precaution. Because, I mean, your immune system, you, you get 
healthier, get activer, you know, your immune system goes up as well, so don't stop exercising. All right, yeah. you know. I'll uh, continue to do what you do, Coach. <laughs> of course, thank you so much. Uh, great to have you, you here. Yes, you too. And congratulations on the recent success. I know a lot of his uh, runners just uh, did well at Berlin, correct? Berlin yeah, Marathon? Yeah, correct. Uh, the, my team uh, did really well. The captain and the three other crews, they um, finished strong. Oh, and of course, um, The air is cleaner there. I know. <laughs> the air is cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> they, get, they hit their PB. So they so, felt um, stronger yeah. when they were there. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Thank you so much for having me. Great day. Thank you very Thank much, you. Coach. All right, everyone, we're up now for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media accounts. So we're on Instagram X and also YouTube at Seed Today News. More news coming up right here in our show.